my dreams, I'm somewhere else and I'm falling for, yeah, falling for myself. Entropy is magic and I've been calling for, yeah, I'm calling for somehow. Show me, I got people to hold me, I got people that's hold me it's for the next ending cause we don't. Lately been doing so well Most don't hang around your neck It was a land if you couldn't tell But fuck you, fuck you, fuck you Fuck you, fuck you, yeah Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, yeah Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, yeah Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you I feel like the first song that I actually wrote was on a piano, which was probably in grade six. And I felt good. I was feeling myself. I was like, this is so sick. And then like a couple years ago, I found it and I was like, this is so bad. <laughs> but so I guess it was just like a fun process. It's always been a fun process, the songwriting and everything. So it's just kind of like a flow of emotions and words and feelings. I remember this question kind of reminds me of when I had writer's block and I was like, how do I overcome this? And a lot of people say that you just write shitty songs every day until something good comes out. Um, and that's eventually how I overcame it. But then I realized later that when I had writer's block, it was during a time where I was traveling a lot. So I wasn't doing my regular stuff. Like I wasn't meditating. I wasn't doing yoga or like any of that where I could just quiet my mind. So it was constantly just like in a, um, a go state. A lot of my best lyrics come from when I can just quiet my mind and, and not think about anything. And then it all just like starts flowing. The trajectory of my music really goes along with, with my life. And you can, or I can tell a lot of like where I was at consciously um, at certain stages. And I think it just, I just let it change if I feel like it needs to. So that's one thing with me as an artist. I feel like I could never fit into one box or one category and I always thought that was a bad thing. I think I've kind of learned to accept it and to love it because it lets it gives me a lot of creative freedom so I could just change it up whenever and it's kind of just part of who I am anyways. My creative process changes all the time. I'll feel inspired and I'll just start writing stuff and some, or sometimes I'll just like freestyle just because I have the, the ability now with a home studio to just like sing whatever and, and sound stupid and nobody can hear me anyway, so it's fine. Um, so yeah, it just like, it really depends. I'll usually just write a bunch of stuff and end up putting it together eventually. <laughs> When, when you're experimenting with things just in general, like you learn a lot and then I, I also overcame a lot of things like perfectionism when I'm, uh, even when I'm recording here at home, I just will sometimes do 20 takes of the same thing and I'm like, okay, you gotta stop because I'll end up deleting them all because there's too many to go through. So um, yeah, and, and the this, this style too, it just changes with like, if I'm in a, a chill, part of my life or if I'm like in a rowdy phase or whatever um, it'll it definitely reflects like I can't really go back and and change it it has to be what I'm feeling at that time everything honestly like my main ones obviously Mac Miller because that's just like his trajectory kind of lines up with mine like we are both like when he was in a party phase, I was in a party phase. He got super philosophical, I was philosophical. Like it just kind of worked out that way. And and he experience, experiments a lot with things, which is also, I really respect that in artistry and in all. I um, just recently actually was talking to my friend about how I always change my, uh, like the music that I listen to. So like on, I use Spotify. So. I'll have all my playlists and then like two months will go by and I'll completely change everything because I'm like over that <laughs> that kind of, I guess even genre, like I'll change genres too. I wouldn't change anything because I definitely, definitely believe that everything that I experienced is the reason why I am who I am and how I am today. 
But I would just tell my younger self to trust yourself and and to um, not forget to have fun <laughs> with the actual process instead of just looking at where I'm going, just actually enjoy what I'm doing to get there. I would like to be known for healing people through my music. Really, that's what it comes down to probably. Wanna do the show me all the patterns you told me. All your options and choose me. Count me the one to see for. Hope you got what you want in Fuck you, 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 fuck you